Antarctica is the last frontier. It holds our imagination. The last remaining territory on the planet that could have such a designation is Antarctica. Antarctica attracts the attention of not only scientists, but also those interested in mysteries and secrets. Its remote and tough conditions make it great for secret missions and hunting for old treasures. And stories have been going around about rich people meeting with aliens and trying to find high-tech stuff that could change how power works globally. But how true is this exactly? And are there really aliens in Antarctica? Join us as we unveil Antarctica's hidden secrets. Number 1. Mysterious Aliens, Nazis, and the Lost City In the huge and icy area of Antarctica, there's a story that mixes up mystery, interest, and guessing. A tale that weaves together beings from outer space, Nazis, and a supposed hidden city under the ice. It's a story that has caught the attention of many, sparking lots of ideas and trips to find out what's going on. The story starts with the Nazis' curiosity about Antarctica during World War II. Interested in setting up a base in the distant continent, the Nazis sent out trips to explore its icy land. Led by people like Admiral Karl Donitz and SS leader Heinrich Himmler, these missions wanted to take over land and possibly set up a place for strategic reasons. One of the most famous Nazi trips to Antarctica was Operation High Jump in 1946-1947, led by Admiral Richard E. Byrd, an honored American explorer. While officially said to be a scientific trip, there are rumors about its true goals. Some think the Nazis were looking for hidden underground bases or old objects, while others suggest they were chasing after advanced tech or even trying to make contact with beings from outer space. The idea of beings from outer space comes into the story through reports of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, seen in Antarctica. Over the years, many stories have come out about strange flying stuff seen by explorers, soldiers, and researchers in the area. While doubters think these sightings are just natural things or misunderstandings, conspiracy believers argue that they show evidence of beings from outer space being in Antarctica. One exciting theory talks about a hidden city under the ice. Supporters of this idea think that an old society, maybe from outer space, built a big city under Antarctica's icy surface. They point to weird things seen in satellite pictures and radar scans as maybe being evidence of human-made buildings under the ice. Also making things more interesting are claims of secret Nazi bases or underground spots in Antarctica. According to some stories, Escaping Nazi leaders, including Adolf Hitler, went to the distant continent after Germany lost in World War II. These theories say the Nazis might have made hidden areas where they kept on with their work, like playing with advanced tech, or maybe making contact with beings from outer space. Making things even more mysterious are supposed meetings between explorers and strange beings, or things in Antarctica. Stories are told of odd meetings with people like figures, weird signs, and stuff that can't be explained in the icy wilderness. But even though these mysteries are so interesting, scientists say we shouldn't believe crazy stories without good proof. Antarctica is still one of the hardest and least known places on Earth, with lots of problems for exploring and studying. While the continent has lots of secrets we haven't found yet, Telling the truth from lies needs careful scientific study and is doubtful. Number 2. Discovering the Mysteries of the Southern Ocean in Antarctica Extending from the icy Antarctic coast to the far reaches of the Southern Hemisphere, the Southern Ocean is the smallest, youngest, and coldest of the world's oceans. Despite being small, it plays an important role in controlling the Earth's climate and supporting various sea life. One notable feature of the Southern Ocean is its strong currents. The Antarctic Circumpolar Current, the biggest ocean current globally, flows continuously eastward, unobstructed by land. This constant flow links the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans, creating a dynamic environment. The currents not only carry nutrients and warmth, but also shape the ocean floor, creating underwater valleys and canyons. Under the surface, the Southern Ocean is full of life, despite its tough conditions. 
unique adaptations have enabled a variety of sea creatures to survive in this extreme environment. Famous animals such as seals, whales, and penguins live in these cold waters, depending on the plentiful krill and fish for food. The Southern Ocean also hosts many seabirds, including albatrosses with wingspans over 10 feet, soaring above the waves in search of food. The Southern Ocean is a vital habitat for several whale species, including the majestic humpback, the elusive blue whale, and the agile orca. These large sea creatures undertake long migrations, traveling thousands of miles to eat and breed in the nutrient-rich Antarctic waters. Their presence enriches the ecosystem and captures the imagination of those who encounter them. Exploring the Southern Ocean presents many challenges, from navigating dangerous ice to enduring freezing temperatures. However, there are many rewards for those brave enough to explore its icy waters. Scientists study the Southern Ocean to understand its role in global climate systems and monitor the effects of climate change on this sensitive area. Expeditions to Antarctica provide a glimpse into a pristine wilderness untouched by humans, inspiring awe and respect for the natural world. One fascinating aspect of the Southern Ocean is its role in controlling the Earth's climate. The vast ice around Antarctica reflects sunlight, helping to cool the planet. Additionally, the Southern Ocean absorbs carbon dioxide from the air, acting as an important carbon storage. However, Rising temperatures and melting ice threaten to upset this delicate balance, with potentially disastrous consequences for the planet. Number 3. Ancient Meteorites Discovery Antarctica is a great place to find space rocks known as meteorites. These rocks fall all over the world, but Antarctica is special because it acts like a huge freezer that keeps them well-preserved. Think of Antarctica as a giant freezer, keeping meteorites fresh for scientists to discover. Antarctica is ideal for finding meteorites because it's extremely cold and dry there. This chilly, dry environment helps to keep the meteorites in good shape. Additionally, the dark color of the meteorites makes them stand out against the bright white ice, making them easy to see. Not many rocks naturally form in Antarctica. So, if you come across a rock there, chances are it's from outer space. That's why Antarctica is like a magnet for scientists searching for meteorites. In East Antarctica, there's a huge sheet of ice that has been there for a very long time. Over time, the sun and strong winds have worked together to erode the top layers of ice. This might sound like a bad thing, but it's great for finding meteorites. As the top layers of ice melt away, they reveal older layers underneath, which are full of meteorites. It's like searching for hidden treasure. Since 1976, scientists have gathered more than 20,000 meteorite samples from Antarctica. That's a lot of space rocks. Just think about all the things scientists can discover by studying them. In 2013, a team of scientists from Japan and Belgium made an amazing discovery in East Antarctica. They found the largest meteorite in 25 years. This space rock weighed an impressive 18 kilograms. That's like finding a huge space boulder in your backyard. The scientists spent 40 days looking for meteorites, and they hit the jackpot. They found a total of 425 meteorites, weighing a combined 75 kilograms. Among their finds were pieces of an asteroid called Vesta, and even a meteorite from Mars. It's like finding bits of other worlds right here on Earth and who knows what other treasures lie beneath the icy surface of Antarctica, waiting to be discovered. Number 4. The Singing Ice In the icy lands of Antarctica, there exists a colossal slab of ice known as the Ross Ice Shelf. See it as a giant icy blanket covering an area as vast as France, several hundred meters thick. Recently, scientists stumbled upon a fascinating discovery about this icy behemoth. They found out that it emits a peculiar sound, almost like a ghostly melody. This strange tune is created by the wind dancing over the snowy dunes that cover the ice shelf. Unlike ordinary music, this song is not meant for our ears. It's so low-pitched that we can't hear it. Instead, scientists rely on special sensors called seismic sensors to capture these mysterious vibrations. Interestingly, this song isn't stagnant. 
it changes its tune in response to the environment. When the snow melts or storms sweep across the icy expanse, the song shifts and morphs accordingly. Initially, scientists weren't trying to uncover this musical secret. They installed the seismic sensors on the ice shelf for a different purpose altogether. But sometimes, curiosity leads to surprises, like discovering a singing ice shelf. Now these scientists are using the song as a valuable tool to keep an eye on the health of the ice shelf in real time. By monitoring the changes in the song, they can track how stable or vulnerable the ice shelf is to collapse. The song of the Ross Ice Shelf is like a musical diary, chronicling its journey through time and the changes it undergoes. It's a delicate balance of nature and the profound impact even the slightest environmental shifts can have on our planet's icy landscapes. Number 5. The Giant Hole In 2017, a massive hole appeared in Antarctica, as large as the whole country of Ireland. This hole, called a polynia, all right, moving on now to environmental stories. A giant hole large is not a new thing, but this one is special. It's the biggest one seen since the 1970s and the first to pop up in 40 years. This huge gap in the ice was discovered in the Weddell Sea, which is part of the Southern Ocean. It formed because of warmer, saltier water from deep down in the sea. The warm water from the depths gets pushed upwards by ocean currents. When it reaches the surface, it melts the ice. Then, it meets the cooler surface water and sinks back down, but it doesn't stop there. It gets heated up again and rises back to the surface, repeating the cycle. Scientists are still trying to figure out why these polynias appear. One idea is that marine animals might be using them to get air to breathe, but there's still a lot we don't know about these strange giant holes in the ice. Did you know that the Weddell Sea is named after James Weddell? a British sailor who explored the area in the early 19th century. He discovered it while looking for new sealing grounds, and it's one of the coldest and most remote parts of the ocean. Antarctica is home to some amazing wildlife, like penguins, seals, and whales. They all rely on the ice for their survival, so any changes, like these polynias, can have a big impact on them. In the 1970s, scientists first noticed these polynias but they were much smaller back then. The fact that this one is so huge and hasn't been seen in four decades has got scientists buzzing with excitement. One theory about why Polinias form is that they might be caused by underwater mountains or ridges that force warm water up to the surface. Another idea is that they could be linked to changes in wind patterns or ocean currents. Number six, the towering Mount Erebus. High up in the icy land of Antarctica, there's a towering volcano called Mount Erebus. It's not like your usual mountains covered in just snow. It's a giant that breathes steam and heat, even though it's surrounded by blankets of snow. Antarctica might seem like a frozen desert, but hidden beneath its icy surface lie some fiery secrets. Among the icy plains, four volcanoes are chilling out on Ross Island. They're not exactly partying volcanoes. They're pretty quiet except for one, Mount Erebus. This has been getting a bit restless over the past three decades, spicing things up with some volcanic activity. Mount Erebus isn't just any old volcano. It's like nature's ultimate show-off. Deep within its core, there's molten rock called magma, and it's been bubbling away for millions and millions of years. Ancient lava lakes bubbled and boiled for about 1.3 million years. Yeah, that's how ancient this fiery giant is. In 2013, a team of brave scientists decided to take on the challenge. They geared up and embarked on an epic journey to climb Mount Erebus, trudging through knee-deep snow, navigating rocky terrain, and crossing treacherous glaciers. It was like something out of an adventure movie. After days of pushing through, they finally reached the summit, the very peak of Mount Erebus. And guess what they found? Life thrives amidst the heat and steam of the volcano. Despite the extreme conditions, organisms were making themselves at home in this fiery furnace. As the scientists explored further, they stumbled upon a hidden gem, ice caves. And guess who was hanging out in these icy hideaways? Microorganisms are tiny creatures too small to see with the naked eye. 
It's like finding a secret party in the coolest club ever. They're hardcore survivors, thriving in one of the most extreme environments on the planet. And scientists reckon they're some of the most unique creatures out there, adapting to life in the icy depths of Mount Erebus. Number 7. McMurdo Dry Valleys In Antarctica, there's a place called the McMurdo Dry Valleys, where scientists have set up camp. Even though when we think of deserts, we usually imagine hot, sandy places, Antarctica is the biggest desert on Earth. Surprisingly, it's super dry and windy there, with very little rain, only about 50 millimeters each year. Also, a whopping 99% of Antarctica is covered in ice. But in that tiny 1% left, you'll discover the McMurdo Dry Valleys. Here, you won't find camels or cacti, but you will find some massive dunes. These dunes can tower up to 70 meters high and stretch about 200 meters wide. While it might seem fun to slide down these dunes like you're on a sandy roller coaster, these dunes are a super important spot for scientists. Well, these dry valleys are kind of like Mars in terms of climate. That's why scientists are all curious about them. They think this place could give them clues about life on other planets. But here's the thing. These dunes aren't just chilling in one spot, they're moving. On average, they're scooching along at about 1.5 meters every year. Scientists think it's because of climate change. As the Earth's atmosphere gets warmer, the ice in Antarctica starts melting, and that causes the dunes to shift. It's like the dunes are trying to find a cooler spot to hang out. Scientists are in a bit of a hurry to figure out all the secrets these dunes hold before they disappear forever. The McMurdo Dry Valleys are one of the coldest and driest environments on Earth. Despite being a frozen desert, the dry valleys are not completely lifeless. Microbes, tiny organisms that you can't even see with your naked eye, manage to survive here. They're like the ultimate survivors, living in one of the harshest environments on our planet. Number 8. The Ranging Gamburtsov Mountain, underneath a thick blanket of ice, which can be as wide as two to 4,000 kilometers, lie the Gamburtsov Mountains. They stretch for about 1,200 kilometers and reach heights of 3,000 meters, which is about one-third the size of Mount Everest. These mountains got their name from a smart Soviet scientist named Grigory A. Gamburtsev. Back in 1958, Russian scientists stumbled upon them during their Antarctic adventures. As these scientists journeyed through Antarctica, they stumbled upon a thin layer of ice and noticed some weird changes in gravity. This discovery hinted at something amazing hidden beneath the surface. Even though nobody has seen these mountains up close, scientists use radars to get a glimpse of what they look like. They also use measurements of gravity and magnetism to study them down to their roots. For ages, scientists have scratched their heads, trying to figure out how these mountains formed and why they're still standing strong. Considering they're about a billion years old, they should have crumbled away by now. There are plenty of theories floating around about why they're still here. One popular idea is that there might be a frozen layer protecting the mountains from getting worn away. These mountains aren't just any old bumps in the ice. They're thought to be the birthplace of some of the world's largest rivers. When the ice on top of the mountains melts, it forms streams that eventually turn into massive rivers, nourishing life across the icy continent. The Gamburtsev Mountains are no small fry when it comes to size. They're bigger than the European Alps. Imagine that, a whole mountain range hiding under Antarctica's icy cloak, waiting to be discovered. They're not just standing still. These mountains are growing taller as the ice above them gets thicker. It presses down on the Earth's crust, squeezing these mountains upwards. Number 9. The Fascinating World of Underground Lakes Antarctica might seem unwelcoming at first, but beneath its icy surface are lakes hidden by thick layers of ice. These lakes, formed millions of years ago, are deep within the Antarctic ice sheet, creating a unique landscape of hidden water. One remarkable aspect of these underground lakes is their size. Some stretch for hundreds of kilometers beneath the ice, rough surface lakes. 
For example, Lake Vostok is one of the largest, about the size of Lake Ontario. Its vastness and isolation make it interesting for scientific study. What makes these underground lakes fascinating isn't just their size, but also their special conditions. Locked under thousands of meters of ice, they exist in perpetual darkness and isolation, isolated for millions of years. Yet life thrives in these icy depths. Microbial life forms have been found in the lakes, challenging our understanding of where life can exist. These extremophiles survive in the cold, dark, and nutrient-poor environments. Studying them offers insights into life's limits on Earth and elsewhere. Recent technological advances have allowed scientists to explore these lakes in detail. Robotic vehicles with cameras and sensors can penetrate the thick ice and descend into the depths, mapping the lakes and studying life forms. One major project, the SALSA project, aims to drill into Lake Mercer beneath the Willens Ice Stream. By studying samples from the lake, researchers hope to learn more about Antarctica's ecology, geology, and climate history. Exploring these lakes comes with challenges due to extreme cold, remote location, and thick ice cover. Drilling through thousands of meters of ice requires special equipment and planning to avoid contamination. Yet scientists are determined to uncover the secrets of Antarctica's underground lakes. As our understanding of these lakes grows, so does our appreciation for Earth's resilience and diversity. These hidden lakes, filled with life and ancient secrets, are signs of our planet's vastness and complexity. And as we explore Antarctica's icy depths, we anticipate the discoveries awaiting us below the surface. Number 10. The Enigmatic Mystery of Blood Falls in Antarctica Situated in the McMurdo Dry Valleys of East Antarctica, Blood Falls is a fascinating natural sight that's hard to explain. It looks like a bold red streak against the clean white background of the Taylor Glacier. It's a strange and captivating sight, like a bleeding wound on the icy surface of the Earth. But what causes this weird sight? The answer lies below the surface. Scientists found out that the water flowing from Blood Falls has a lot of iron oxide, making it look like blood. This iron-rich water comes from a lake under the glacier, trapped there for millions of years. The journey of this old water started when Antarctica was very different. Back when dinosaurs were around, the Taylor Glacier wasn't there. It used to be part of a big river system across the continent. As time passed, the climate got colder, and the river was covered by layers of snow and ice. The water, stuck under the glacier, was cut off from the outside, away from light, warmth, and air. Over thousands of years, the water changed slowly. Without sunlight for photosynthesis, ordinary life couldn't survive. Instead, tiny organisms adapted to the tough conditions, living off the iron-rich waters of the lake under the glacier. These tough organisms, called extremophiles, thrive in places where life seems impossible. Finding life under Antarctica's ice is a big deal. It changes how we think about biology and the chance of life beyond Earth. It makes us rethink where life might be and shows how tough living things can be. Blood Falls isn't just interesting to scientists. It's inspired artists, writers, and adventurers, leading to lots of stories and adventures. From books to movies, Blood Falls symbolizes the unknown and unexplored. In the end, Blood Falls shows how delicate and strong life on Earth can be. It proves that nature can surprise, inspire, and challenge us. And as long as there are mysteries, there will be people ready to explore Antarctica to find answers. Number 11. Ancient Fossils and Rainforests in Antarctica A land of ice and snow where chubby birds walk and sea mammals relax on the cold shores. This is the picture that often comes to mind when we think of Antarctica. However, under its icy surface lies a secret that challenges our view of this frozen continent. Old fossils and proof of dense forests. Antarctica, often called the White Continent, wasn't always covered in ice. Millions of years ago, during a time known as the Cretaceous Period, it was a much warmer place. Fossil proof suggests that, 
Antarctica was once part of a supercontinent called Gondwana, which included present-day Africa, South America, Australia, and India. Back then, Antarctica was closer to the equator and had a mild climate, similar to modern-day New Zealand. In this old world, Antarctica was full of life. Thick forests covered the land, housing a variety of plants and animals. Fossils of old ferns, palm-like plants, and even dinosaurs have been found on the continent, giving a glimpse into its ancient past. These fossils tell the story of a lively ecosystem that thrived in what is now one of the toughest environments on Earth. One of the most interesting discoveries in Antarctica is the remains of old forests. Scientists have found fossilized tree stumps, leaves, and even pollen that show the existence of dense tropical forests millions of years ago. These findings suggest that Antarctica was once covered in dense vegetation, much like the forests we see in tropical regions today. But how did these forests exist in a place that is now covered in ice? The answer lies in the continent's geological history. As the Earth's plates shifted over millions of years, Antarctica moved southward, eventually reaching its current position at the South Pole. As it moved, the climate became colder, and the once lush forests turned into ice and snow. One of the most important discoveries in Antarctica's fossil record is the presence of dinosaur remains. Despite the tough conditions, scientists have found fossils of several dinosaur species, including the massive long-necked sauropods and the fearsome meat-eating theropods. Fossils of old mammals, birds, and sea reptiles have been found on the continent painting a picture of the ecosystem that existed there. From giant sea creatures to tiny bugs, Antarctica was a thriving center of biodiversity during the time of the dinosaurs. Number 12. The Frosty Antarctic Fungi In the freezing land of Antarctica, where snowy mountains and icy landscapes dominate the scenery, there's a hidden world full of life in unexpected places. Among the barren ice shelves and freezing temperatures, a remarkable group of organisms thrives in Antarctic mushrooms. These tough mushrooms have adapted to survive in one of the toughest environments on Earth, where temperatures drop well below freezing and sunlight is scarce for months. Despite these harsh conditions, Antarctic mushrooms have developed clever strategies to not just survive but thrive in this icy place. Antarctic mushrooms can make antifreeze proteins. These proteins help the mushrooms endure the freezing temperatures by stopping ice crystals from forming inside their cells. This smart adaptation lets them keep functioning even when it's below zero, ensuring their survival in the tough Antarctic environment. But it's not just their ability to handle the cold that makes Antarctic mushrooms fascinating. These mushrooms also have important roles in the Antarctic ecosystem. They break down dead plants and animals, recycling nutrients that are crucial for other organisms in this extreme environment. Some Antarctic mushrooms even team up with plants, helping them get nutrients from the soil and survive in places with few nutrients. One of the most interesting Antarctic mushrooms is Tremella mesenterica, a snow fungus. This special mushroom grows on snow and ice, forming delicate, jelly-like structures that look like tiny icicles. Despite its fragile appearance, snow fungus is tough and can survive even the harshest Antarctic winters. Another intriguing Antarctic mushroom is Cryptococcus gatti, which has caught attention because it can cause infections in humans and other animals. This makes it a big concern for researchers studying the health risks of Antarctic wildlife. Besides their importance in nature, Antarctic mushrooms also have the potential for scientific research and technology. Some make compounds that can kill germs, which could help make new antibiotics to fight bacteria that are resistant to current drugs. Others make enzymes that are useful in making food and treating waste. Number 13. The Giant Pyramid In 2009, scientists saw something strange in satellite pictures of Antarctica hidden under the ice. This strange discovery puzzled both scientists and conspiracy theorists. It quickly became one of the most talked-about mysteries lately. 
Imagine a huge pyramid, like those in Egypt, covered under the icy landscape of Antarctica. This discovery changed our ideas about the continent's history and raised interesting questions about old civilizations that might have lived there. The Antarctic pyramid is big, with four triangle sides like the famous Egyptian pyramids. Its shape and size are impressive, making many wonder if it could be a natural thing. What's even more surprising is where it's found. Antarctica is known for its extremely cold and empty land, so it's weird to find such a big structure there. Its existence challenges what we thought we knew about Antarctica's past, suggesting there might have been a civilization there before it became the frozen place we know now. People have different ideas about the Antarctic Pyramid. Some think it shows an old civilization with advanced technology. Others think it might be from aliens. But some doubt it, saying the pyramid shape could be from natural stuff or just how the light and shadows look in satellite images. But whether it's real or not, the idea of a pyramid in Antarctica is very interesting. It's fine to think about what this could mean for our understanding of history and the secrets of Antarctica. Who knows what other mysteries are under the ice, waiting to be found. As scientists keep studying the Antarctic pyramid, we might learn more about where it came from and the old civilizations that might have lived there. Which of these Antarctica's hidden secrets do you find shocking? Share your thoughts and comments below.